Another video here by the Tokyo Real Estate Man, and uh, I just put a, some listings aside yesterday here on my Yahoo Fudosan or Yahoo Real Estate. Uh, and where did I see the interesting stuff? Well, that's all countryside. Some of the stuff's already gone. You see here by the blue mark, you see the market is moving like I saved it, and that one's gone. And let's see this one here. Looked at, I saved that one there. Oh, we looked at that one already in a video the other day in Harajuku. It's funny, there's that one there. It's already gone. I saved it yesterday, and it's already gone. Yeah, it's just gone. It's sold. What else is here? This is some stuff in uh, Yuzawa. See, see the stuff I saved in Yuzawa uh, a few months ago? Okay, none of it's moved. Okay, these are, like, that's the resort there in... Uh, Yuzawa. Here's the one Park Court uh, Shibuya. We looked at this one too, but this one's on rented land. It didn't move. Uh, everything else here though, everything else here is moving that I that I've set aside here. This one was in uh, oh this one here I set aside yesterday in uh, this is in uh, Bunkyoku, which is uh, sort of in northern uh, Tokyo, and I, I forget exactly about this listing right here, but uh, let's have a look at it right here right now oh yeah i looked at this one uh yesterday no we looked at this one about them no we looked at i think i'm forgetting when i looked at it i did a video on it though and well it's 113 meters of uh of land in uh bunkyoku okay which is the, this is called sendaki and it's a good location here in central Tokyo, but I'm gonna see right here if it is, no, it's on, uh, it's a show you can, so like you have domain of the land or ownership of the land, but you see, I guess it's not moving for the reason of it. it's not having any parking spot. It's sort of interesting, cause I've always looked, there's one uh, lady, she owns the Apple Hotel, and then she has made a real career out of like uh, taking, uh, land and and reforming it and what i mean is what she does is she takes like weird pockets of land she finds a, a place where there's a weird sort of shaped pocket of land that offers a discount and uh she would reshape it into a hotel so she's really good that way she's really interesting businesswoman that's probably what i was thinking when i looked at this because i saw this yard in the back here like that and i thought well if you could somehow expand the house a little bit into the back right there and for example could uh sort of form some of the house into it like a, a driveway or something like that and uh, you couldn't really have an, a gasoline car but uh, if you had an electric car for example uh there would be no exhaust and stuff like that but uh, I think what's happening here in this house is that the uh, the roads that lead to the house here uh, in Bunkyo, it's the old city of Tokyo, uh, they could be like very, very narrow. Anyhow, uh, just looking at some listings here today. Uh, other stuff is in the market here is moved, but you can see this house needs a lot. I mean, it's for sale for 4,680 yen, but it, you know, it probably needs another, uh, <laughs> uh, it needs more ability and another hundred thousand dollars to like uh, bring it up to date I guess I would think but yeah it's an opportunity uh, the location is really good we'll just uh, pop on here to the location of Bunkyoku so uh, it's sort of that's in the uh, sort of uh, there's Sendaki right there and there's Nipori so you're looking at near Nipori which is on the uh, top of sort of Stamachi right there uh, good location Getting down here into like the uh, there's like U Ueno and then uh, Akihabara and Jimbocho just here. It's a really good location. So uh, uh, I think it's a interesting thing. It w would need to be reshaped and it's not moving. So that's really interesting. Anyhow, another real estate video here by the Tokyo Real Estate Man. Signing out.